Hi, this is Steve Golley from Pentagon Solutions. I'd like to take a look at an additional feature that's available to download in Buzzsaw. Um, Buzzsaw is a software as a service um, and it's for online file-based coordination of the cloud and it supports BIM workflows. And it's a great way where we can push information out from Revit directly or we can push information like DWFs or other file formats into, um, into the cloud and do a structured format with various permissions. This is my Buzzsaw interface in here, so I've got a number of different projects. Now, whilst this isn't a Buzzsaw presentation, I'm gonna show one particular feature, which is what's called the synchronization uh, tool. And what this allows me to do, this allows me to push information from my server uh, uh, and use a set structure actually into my Buzzsaw environment. And this is particularly good if we've set information in here. So as an example, I've got a particular area here called Buzzsaw and Drawings. And um, the synchronization tool, again, this could be on a PC in a different country. Um, I can look at my synchronization settings in there. And uh, if I go into it, you'll see that the synchronization happens on a certain time of day. So I'm going to have a look at a particular file location in here. And this particular file location I have, you can see the little icon on it means that it's used to sync with Buzzsaw. So what this physically means is I could go into this folder and actually start creating um, a series of files, say DWFs. I could create, say, something for Kobe or data drops in there. And I could create something for document based in there as well. So so that information has been captured in there and what I've got is I'm going to drag in um, a, a DWF file that I've actually created into that location. So that structure is very specific to the organization. I want to make sure that that's actually going to get replicated from my server in the buzzsaw. Well all we physically do in here is we make sure that we do a synchronization. I'm just going to force the synchronization now. So if I fire up buzzsaw Again, this is real time and this could be um, across continents, etc. in there. And I'm just going to refresh that information. It's going to take a second to come across, hit the F5 button. And you'll see that data has immediately come over here. So I've got my Kobe folder that I've automatically created. I've got my document folder. And more importantly, I've got my DWF location with my actual DWF file in there. So I pick it up. I can then use that information and buzz it up. So I'll have a look at. So let's just view that in the window. So it's very powerful that information is physically on a server and a different location will get forced across to Buzzsaw, um, obviously provided I have the permission to do so. So this particular one is just a, a model bridge detail in here. Again, we can see it. But more importantly, again, you can see, because I got notifications set up, that I get a physical notification saying um, a folder, um, drawings folder has changed and the following information has uh, been added to it. So it actually gives me an email notification on that. Again, whilst it's not a detailed buzzsaw presentation, uh, it's a common feature we're normally asked is how a client or how uh, another discipline forces information to their server uh, through to the uh, buzzsaw connection. And that's simply how it's done. Thanks for your time.